Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to this press review edition. We follow up the news and we will start in Cameroon with the Guidon Post. The news, the Guidon Post, titled on resolve the crisis in the Northwest and the Southwest region. National Right Commission pressure government to speedify implement dialogue proposal. The National Commission on Human Rights and Freedom has pressured government to hastily implement recommendation of last October major national dialogue as a means of ensuring a return of peace in the receive anglophone region. The state institution made the proposal at the end of a monthly meeting of chairperson and reporters of working groups of the commission, which took place at the close of last month. Let's go to Kenya with the newspaper, The Star. A section of leaders from President Uhuru Kenyatta met Kenya backwards and now rotting for a parliamentary system of government with a powerful prime minister, more than 13 leaders, comprising mainly former legislators, said the system will be the solution to perennial violence witnessed every election cycles. Leaders led by former Nyeri Senator Mutaye Kwange made their stand now after it emerged that the Building Bridge Initiative Report will be subject to a second round of public participation. Let's continue with Kenya and the Daily Nation. The Daily Nation talked about Nairobi residents will continue grappling with water shortage and rationing Evertau, Dan Kenny, and San Sumar dams are full following heavy rains in the other days. The trend has been blamed on the lower dam the optimum capacity of transmission pipes. Let's follow the news and go to Uganda with the Daily Monitor. The Daily Monitor speak this morning time about a mobile application PR. LP Uganda can now be downloaded from the Google Play Store for those who might need to get pre-exposure prophylaxis, a cause of HIV drugs taken by HIV negative people to prevent the infection. We follow up the news and go to Rwanda with the news time. The news Paper, the news time of Randa title on city high rich zone evacuation explained ruins of a demolished house at Kagondo 2 near Ru Tarama in Kigali City. Officials say that so far 4,319 households have been evacuated from high rich zone to safer location around the city. Since Saturday, the small residential houses and shops that line the road are being raised by the city of Kigali in a move authority say this aim at protecting residents from the consequences of the heavy hands that continue to pound the country. Let's follow the news and go to Egypt, the newspaper, Egypt Today, title on Egypt to host next commercial summit, Kibiego Sheluget, the Assistant Secretary General of Commercia, Kiblego Sheluget on Monday said that President Abdel Fattah El Sisi has early accepted to host the upcoming summit in Egypt next year. We follow the news with the Namibian, the Namibian, the newspaper, the new area, and the Namibian title on Namibians travel to Zambia to claim body after a deadly attack. A group of Namibians from the Oyangwena region traveled to Zambia's capital, Lusaka, yesterday to repatriate some of the seven bodies of suspected criminals who were shot dead by police in that country. We continue the news with Nigeria, the country of Muhammad Buhari, and with the newspaper, the Business Day, the Business Day title on Sokoto Ghost Teacher, Corrupt School, the Early Morning Sun, raid on pupils through the windows and tattered roofs of Jigan, Yaho Primary School, in Wamako local government area of Sokoto State. Let's follow up the news always in Nigeria with the Guardian, the newspaper, the Guardian talk about despite the criticism that follow President Muhammadu Buhari request to the Senate for the approval of 
$29.96 billion loan, Senate President Ahmad Lawan yesterday insisted that the chamber would grant his desire. We continue always in Nigeria with the newspaper Daily Trust. Daily Trust speaks this morning time loudly. KB, Lagos, and Jigawa states are on top of the list of states with unqualified teachers in public school. The 2018 National Personnel Audit NPA reports and shows this information. We end the press review this morning time with the era the era a newspaper in zimbabwe titled on 242 jasperan apply for passport 242 people living in the jaspora have since last week successfully apply and obtain their passport madam and sir thanks to listening to this press review edition let me tomorrow for another edition Thanks, thanks, thanks.